what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we talk about several different topics in this video once again today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about chucky we'll be talking about uh saw x and then we'll also conclude this by talking about stranger things season 5 the final season so just to kick it off with scream 6 the Scream 6 poster leaked, and I'm going to address this by tying it into why marketing is so tight right now, because I know that several people are frustrated with the lack of info that is happening regarding this movie. For starters, the poster is like blurred in ways or has like black paint over it it looks like blocking out certain things so you don't even have a full look at what this poster has to offer but you can at least see Ghostface looking into a subway apparently also again if you find yourself frustrated about lack of info on the movie that's fine but remember a majority of five was leaked prior to filming starting finishing and prior to the film's release you had stuff like Skeet Ulrich's involvement being mentioned and all this other stuff like uh, Sam ties to Billy, Judy Hicks return, the killers, the motive, all making rounds prior to filming even starting. Plus, we knew the title as well during filming. Before Kevin Williamson made that official announcement, they were all just making rounds. So in theory, this whole tight-lipped nature to them is only justified when you have an account currently leaking several images from the film left and right leaking the poster leaking the tagline so re just remain patient is what i will say the trailer will be here marketing will get underway and you'll see them take this more seriously soon but they definitely need to protect the story better after screen five also apparently an extra in the film of scream six has confirmed that a subway chase scene will happen and i'll leave a link to this down in the comment section it's set on halloween as well according to them but that is um that is why I think they are taking this approach. Not only that, but because horror has always been this thing that people think is secondary when they have all these other projects that they have more faith in as far as making a profit for them which i can understand from a business standpoint it should be like that but yes us horror fans we want our scream content and we want it now <laughs> it's coming very soon but the tight-lipped approach remember you knew way too much prior to scream 5 even filming so the tight-lippedness and with the leaks happening right now it is a little bit justified as to why they're doing this but just to jump into chucky don mancini has addressed whether good chucky ever really existed in a new interview with usa his response to this was yes in a way he was real i mean some people have asked if he's just playing them all along and that was not my intention i feel like if you watch closely you can see that there are moments where chucky has no reason to maintain an imposter as good chucky with dr mixter for example so i think that the brainwashing of chucky was successful but as it turns out it only t it was only temporary he said so there you go contrary to what i and many others thought the brainwashing was only temporary and good chucky was more of a temporary state versus completely pretending and he's right in what he's mentioning about dr mixter because that whole exchange with dr mixter does prove that he was not faking because he could have easily switched up on her during those efforts to steal him from the kids brad dorf's voice talent just to comment on that during this season is another highlight that i see being underappreciated so shout out to him for his work this season but there you go as far as like anyone who was questioning whether good chucky Chucky was real or not good Chucky and the brainwashing we saw the kids put on to him early in season two it was effective it was just revealed to be something temporary I just think that what made it so uncertain for people is that it wasn't clear that this was a temporary brainwash it came off more so like he was pretending but then he is right in the fact that one crucial sequence is his interaction with Dr. Mixter that more or less confirms that he is not pretending but the whole temporary thing, I guess that's really just left up to some interpretation. Maybe they could have communicated it better on screen, but yes, Good Chucky was real. It was just a temporary short-lived thing that we eventually saw die out of the doll as the season progressed, which we ultimately saw starting with his killing of Nadine, which broke a lot of people's hearts. So just to jump into Saw X, Deadline is reporting that Shawnee Smith or Shanice Smith is returning to the Saw franchise for Saw X. And of course, it should be to reprise her role as Amanda, one of Jigsaw's apprentices who we first met as a victim them back in the original 2004 film from James Wan but then that great twist in part two came which again revealed that she was an apprentice of him so her death in three and John's death as well in that same movie are recognized as some of the worst decisions in the series considering how far down the road the series continued to go especially right now when we have a 10th movie coming these characters died back in the 2000s 
we're in the 2020s so if she reprises her role it's most definitely going to be in the form of flashbacks if they want to do that but given that the movie is set in between saw one and saw two maybe it's not done in the form of flashbacks maybe for whatever reason she's traveling to mexico with john but viewer non also chimed in shortly after this because again it wasn't confirmed that she was back from deadline but viewer non chimed in shortly after this report to state that smith had already completed her filming for the movie allegedly now are you excited to see the return of amanda because i know i've seen some people say they want to see hoffman back they want to see some other characters back dr gordon some other people but you're getting at least one crucial saw alumni that many people think should never have been killed off in amanda since she's coming back are you excited about that how do you think she will be used in the upcoming film do you not care about amanda do you prefer to have amanda back over jigsaw john kramer's character what do you think is going to happen with her inclusion of this movie? Now, we did also get reports of three other cast members from Deadline. Stephen Brand, Michael Beach, and Snowy McCody Lund, I probably butched that name, are all set to star in the film, while Smith, again, was just mentioned to be circling but not confirmed. But viewer nine again has chimed in to say that she's already filmed her sequences for the movie. So we'll see what happens. Just to conclude this by talking about Stranger Things 5. Stranger Things Season 5 will start filming in mid-May of 2023, according to a production weekly issue from earlier this month that came out in December. This will serve, as we all know, as the fifth and final season to the Netflix's legendary Supernatural sci-fi series that started as a simple, what I would say, a love letter to 80s films, 80s horror I'm looking forward to Stranger Things' epic conclusion of what I imagine is going to be a very epic conclusion in the sense that this is probably, to me, going to do what the end of Harry Potter was and what that meant to me on the big screen, but now in the form of a popular TV show that has been a part of my life since I left high school. I'm eager to see the Duffer Brothers wrap up this story and start working on future projects. I'm eager to see how they tie all of these loose ends up, what the resolutions will be between some of these love interests and these ships that people have their investment in i'm eager to see this battle that they definitely will have go down between vecna and 11 once and for all they definitely are going to try to stage this in some capacity i would say like harry potter versus voldemort and they should stage it like that because that's indeed what it came across when we saw that in season four i already saw a lot of people making comparisons to harry and voldemort so hopefully they can live up to something even more eventful with one final showdown in season five but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video